Hey there, I'm Voltson from Voltage Productions, and welcome back to another video. Today we're on the Skyflat server. It's been a little while since I've lasted a long form video on the server. But this was just something so cool that I figured I just had to tell you guys about it. So as you know, I've been focusing on the city of New Berlin recently. Obviously this is new, but we'll talk about that in a future YouTube short. But because of my current most recent short, the topic of today's video is this. The courthouse. As you can tell by how messy this place is, there was a trial. Boy, was it a mess. You tell us mess because there were, there's even Uno reverse cards. How did all this happen? Why? Why is it any of it happen at all? How did we even get here in the first place? That's gonna require a bit of explaining, but you know, that's why this is long form instead of a short form. Here we are at the movie studio. We're gonna be using the green screen room again. The reason why we're here is because I think this is the best place and way to explain what has gone down. So, let's do it. Okay, to explain this all, we need to go back in time. More specifically, one or two weeks ago. I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll step out of the way so we can talk about it pro more properly. Nobody is actually sure how it started, but as far as I remember, it started between the Fantastic Soap and Funny Shiv. To help you remember these guys, just remember, this one is a Tostitos bag, and this one, a Pringles packet. I'm assuming something happened between them, but I also faintly remember me a actually asking if Soap wanted to sue Shiv. And the answer, I, I remember, was yes. And from there, things kind of took a turn. I built a courtroom for the trial at New Berlin, and on later it was furnished, so I lost spare time. And people were just kind of talking about the trial. It became a big point of contention, and it even became the main topic of Tech and Fred, the server owner's next stream. At this point, I was unsure if we would even get Ship charged on most of the charges we had laid against him. However, I had evidence for one of them. So, if any of the current charges we had against Funny Ship failed, I would have a backup plan. However, things did not go according to plan. In the meantime, we were getting things sorted out on Discord. Eventually, the user of Bilingu, I had in his notes what he believed what the rules would be. And I thought it would be either me, Sean, or Soap, or a mixture of, of us on the prosecution with Shib on his own at the defense. However, things took a turn. It was very short notice, I believe, but Soap actually switched to defending Shib. Huh? This, I thought was weird, but I still figured Shib was doomed either way, even with now Soap on his side. While people were preparing for a trial and talking about it, I was actually off building a movie theater. A short will come out about this later. Anyway, the last one, the last few days before the trial, Shib and I believe Soap too, maybe one of the other, I'm not sure, asked me if we could have PvP in the courthouse. And I thought that was a strange request knowing funny shiv and his antics but it was reason that the court could be used as a place of execution if shiv is sentenced to death and i was still reluctant but i said sure why not it's probably not going to get that far anyway it was also advised that everybody go into the courthouse without armor or weapon i tried going in with both my armor and weapons because i'm the owner of new berlin as such i figured i would have rights to that and plus i kind of didn't trust shiv but i ended up just putting my armor away I kept my sword on me though. And after a while, it was time for the trial. On March 23rd, 2024, Eastern Standard Time. It was time for trial. Let's get into it. Court is now in session. All right, so we have a jury, fantastic. And we have, we have Alton over there. Soap is now representing Funny Ship. Funny Ship was going to be representing himself, so perhaps he realized he had to fool for a lawyer and uh, decided to get some real representation. Can the defendant please enter the uh, enter the witness box? It's worth knowing that the jury didn't really have anyone too important to this, except for a Blingu and Aniero. Funny Ship, firstly, it appears that you are wearing a chicken head. Can it's you get? It's a birth defect. Right. <laughs> My guy, your whole brain is a birth defect. <laughs> Alright, let the record show that Funny Ship is, is, uh, appears to be a chicken wearing sunglasses. Question is, mm, what, what do, are you aware of the charges against you? Okay, can you state for the court what the char what those charges are? Theft, murder, assault, attempted assault, attempted murder. There's a charge you are forgetting to mention. What is that charge we're forgetting? He literally made drugs in the apartment buildings he he bought from I, me, man. I did no such And we also have an accusation from Sean of discrimination. Sean, can you join the voice chat? Can you prove it? 
Okay. So, firstly, funny. Funny ship. How do you plead to these charges? Do you plead guilty plead, or not guilty? I plead not guilty. You plead not guilty? Okay. In all honesty, this trial was so weird that I honestly don't even remember how things went. But apparently we started off with Sean's uh, discrimination accusations. So I guess we go through those first. I'm not really sure at this point. Okay, whoever designed this courtroom, I can't see people who are standing in the witness stand. <laughs> so, was, was, was it the case that you were the only person you knew of who could not open those doors at the time we discussed this. Yes? Okay. Can anybody else corroborate this story? So, firstly, before I have to declare a mistrial, can the prosecution please start asking the witness some questions? So, if you, if you don't start asking the witness some questions, I will hold you in contempt of court. I, I, am, the, I am part of the defense. Well, who, who is the prosecution? Sean is, Sean is the prosecution. You're yeah, the prosecution and the witness. Okay. In that case, um, Sean. Objection. Sean. Soap's the witness. Sean. Objection. Sean. Hold it. Sean. You you will leave you will leave the judge's area and return to the witness stand. If you come up here again, I will hold you in contempt of court and have you thrown out. Order in the court. Okay. All right. So, Sean. You've presented your evidence. Defense, your witness. So, defense. Do you have any questions for this witness? Do you have any counter evidence? Uh, not, not at the moment, Your Honor. All right, so. I have evidence. I have evidence. I have, I have, um, I have evidence. May I present it to you, Judge? You may. You may approach the bench. Shape decided to be funny and use an Uno reverse card to try and flip all the charges onto Sean. However, this, this is not going according to plan for Shib, as the judge then directly asked me if, according to New Berlin law, that this was allowed. And I said no. So, the Uno reverse card was rejected and was not used as evidence. After the discrimination charge was discussed, the judge called a five minute recess. And during the recess, the judge had a vis comment on the uh, courthouse building. Also, somehow, despite the despite the uh, fact that the ceiling is made of glowstone, the lighting is incredibly dim in this courtroom. It's worth knowing that the head juror of this case was Aniero. Aniero is the guy that just kind of delivered the outcome of votes held by the jury, and also occasionally delivered evidence. Here he gave the judge some evidence that was supposed to be used against Shib, however, it ultimately held no meaning in the end. After the closing statement for these charges, which took a little bit more time, the judge called us another 5 minute recess so he could get the next few charges all sorted. While that break was going on, I noticed a bunch of signs that the defense had left up. And this? This leads me to something I think I should explain to you now. Whether it was both Shib or Soap, or one or the other, and maybe with an additional unknown collaborator, the defense was planning on killing everybody there. Let me explain. About one to two days earlier, I was in New Berlin working on the movie theater, as I mentioned. I, I noticed that the Fantastic Soap was nearby in the courthouse, so I flew over to see what was going on, and I noticed Soap was putting in dispensers behind the seating. I thought it was strange, but when I checked them at the time, in all the dispensers they had put down, behind all the seats, there was just two irons, so I didn't think it was anything too weird. I did not think it was for a murder. I also didn't notice at the time, but not only had they trapped the jury and witness stands, but also the prosecution's desk, the defense desk, the witness stand, and even the judge's podium. All those areas were trapped. Later, I investigated again and noticed that there was now also a shulker box on the side of the New Berlin Metro, which was full of stone bricks. I realized that they were probably using the stone bricks to try and hide the rocket system they had put in place underneath the courthouse. But I just thought nothing of it at the time and figured they wouldn't try to do that, right? Later, I was also again working on the movie theater when I got a message on the server from Bilingu telling me just, I know about the fireworks system. And I just straight up told him that the fantastic soap had put it there. I had nothing to do with it. In fact, I'd actually it contacted that I had seen soap putting them in. I also realized that Sean also saw them and put up the signs hoping that someone would see them. And thankfully, I saw the signs. So I realized now that I needed to save everyone. I also it sensed why earlier the fantastic soap had asked for had asked for everyone to not go in with weapons or armor. They want no one to go in with armor so that way they'd all die from rocket explosions. No one, they didn't want anyone to have weapons so that way if there was any survivors, they couldn't use their swords on the defense or prosecution if they survived as well. 
and they want everyone to stay on the bottom row of the stairs so that way they'd all be hit by rockets and killed. It all made sense. So, when the break ended, I decided to do this. Your Honor, if I may approach the bench. You may. Let me just catch up on chat. Okay. Your Honor, some details have come to my attention, and all the everyone sitting in the gallery right now has to sit on the top row. It is by New Berlin law. I apologize for not announcing it this sooner. That does make it easier for everyone to be seen, so... A top row doesn't mean on the wall, Endicats. Valton, is this necessary under New Berlin law, or is the uh, final verdict all that's required? Apologies, I did not hear the previous statement. Could you repeat it? Certainly. So, is it necessary okay. to hear the verdict from all jurors, or just the uh, final verdict? If the jurors come to a collective decision, or there is an absolute majority, then that is the final verdict, on account of any There is no majority, as of now. Okay, so you, have, you haven't uh, voted yet? Mind. It has just become a majority ruling that he is guilty upon the charges of murder, theft, and the others. Right. So we have a guilty verdict. What it, What is the objection to the guilty, guilty verdict? This is, this is highly irregular to have an objection to a verdict. Okay. On the charges of discrimination presented by Sean to the defendant, Funny Shib, we find the defendant, Funny Shib, guilty. We'll now hear evidence for the further charges. So, for the charges of murder and attempted murder, and for assault and attempted assault. Your Honor, I will request a recess as to go grab my evidence. We've just had a recess. Let, let the record show that the defendant was not prepared for their own defense, and neither was the defense counsel. I wish to present evidence as a counterpoint to the charge of against murder. Evidence against the uh, the charge of murder? Yes. Very well. Approach the bench. You may. That is my head, Your Honor, slain by Soap himself. This is correct. Oh. Let the record show that Bunny Sheep was in fact killed by the Fantastic Soap. I believe at this point, Shib was trying to get the judge to call for a mistrial because at this point, he had been convicted of six out of the eight crimes he had been accused of. So he had presented his head, which was shown to be killed by Soap, his lawyer. So with this in mind, I think he was probably trying to get a judge to call for a mistrial or something because he argued that he was the victim, not the murderer. However, this, if you ask me, this just shows that at some point Shib was just killed. And we are not in hardcore mode, so we can respond whenever we want. Yes, Shib may have been killed by Soap once, but that does not disprove that Shib has killed others at some point. And he got his wish. The judge called for a mistrial and left. And as soon as he did, the defense started their attack. I think, and this this is just getting ridiculous. This is this is uh, not even a kangaroo court. So I'm just going to declare a mistrial and go and do something else because I'm completely bored. Thanks everyone for coming. <laughs> nope, I've had enough. I'm going to do something else. No, no, Fred. You've done the charge of discrimination, so a punishment needs to be decided. What the? Fred, please come back down. What happened? I'd like to levy an accusation against both Shiv and So. In the end, we tried to continue the trial as it was, but unfortunately, the judge had enough and the case was over. I was not able to submit any evidence I still had. So, the trial was over and Shib is still walking free as of today. But however, I would still like to share those last bits of evidence with you, as I feel they are quite important. So, let's talk about them. When I was at the stand to talk about charges about Shib, Anya provided me with some evidence regarding Shib. And this was Apollo's head. Apollo was a user on the server, and the thing about this head of his was that it showed that it was killed by none other than Shib. So that basically meant that Shib was without a doubt guilty of murder. However, I couldn't present it due to Fred just calling for a mistrial. There were also two other charges I had levied against Shib that we ended up not getting to because of the mistrial. And these were, if I remember correctly, illegal selling of drugs and illegal distribution of drugs. Now, I had screenshot evidence of this happening. Here, I'll show them to you. Look, this is where he created them in the apartment buildings that I had sold him. 
Hell, he even talked about it in one of my shorts. Here's a screenshot of him distributing it at his old shop. And here's a screenshot of his meth in my shop for some reason. Why it was there, I don't know. But Shib was the only person who could have done it. I believe that these screenshots could have pretty much damned Shib with the drug charges and he could have been caught guilty. However, again, because of the mistrial, this never happened. But nonetheless, if this did happen, I could have had my ace attorney moment, man. This could have been awesome. Oh well. Well, with that all aside, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I'll be posting more shorts about this server in the future. I've got another one in the works. And until we meet again, my name is Volta for Productions. Thank you for watching.